All right, I got a call for a CO2 rack alarming at 15% liquid level. Let's see what happens. All right, we're here charging up the CO2 rack with some liquid CO2. Where do we get the CO2 from a local supply house? Liquid CO2, 99.9% .9 liquid CO2. You just gotta put the regular goes a regular CO2 fitting goes on there. So when I puts on the fitting loose, he bleeds out the fitting with the gas, tightens up the fitting, so now he knows for sure there's no impurities in there. So he's gonna tighten everything up. Okay, opened up that valve a little bit. And it's gonna just open that all the way up. There's the liquid going through the side glass. It's gonna open that up all the way now. And all we're doing is charging this till we see no more liquid. We don't care about the vapor. We don't, we don't need any of that. We just don't wanna make sure there's no impurities in there. I'm gonna take a piss as well. Okay, we're just charging up. Almost, almost done. We had it added all six cylinders in, which brings it up to 300 pounds. Um, you're gonna hear a difference in sound. The, that difference is the gas, the liquid rushing out, and, and it's almost empty, basically, what that sound is. And then pretty soon you'll start seeing the vapor. And then once you start seeing the vapor, and your side glass is pretty clear, that you could just go ahead and turn it off. You don't have to worry about uh, dumping it all until you don't hear anything at all, just like you would refrigerant. It's different. So, clear this up real quick. See how that's pretty clear now? See my finger? So we're just gonna shut that off by here. And then close this off. Remember, you don't wanna trap liquid CO2. Because then, if you trap it from here and here, have it trapped here, it could ex expand to a vapor and you could pop off, pop off these fittings or cause a big leak. So you wanna make sure it's all vapor, close this off, and then you wanna release the gas right there and you're all set. So we've already emptied all these six in there. Okay, so we're done adding the gas or the liquid CO2. I had my hose, my racks up on the roof. I had to take it all the way up to the top where the rack is right there. And then now let's go up to the rack. All right, I'm up here at the rack, rack A for the CO2 system. I've got my receiver level, my liquid level at 25. Oh, that's where I want it. It was alarming, I didn't get the uh, um, on videotape that it was alarming 15%, but we added that CO2, got it up to the 25% mark, which we want. Got everything good. We got a pump trailer light. We're just going to reset that light again. So it went away. We should be good now. Um, the only reason why it goes on pump fill is because the pressure gets too low. So it shuts down the pump. And I've been watching this receiver level or the vessel level. And what happens is it, it, uh, um, it'll fluctuate from all the way down to 5% to 20% to 5%, which indicates it's low on um, CO2. So right now I got it at 25%. We're good. And uh, this is where we charged it. I didn't get that on tape either. I took it off before I got a chance to show you guys where I had my hose hooked in, but 
that's where I hooked it in. And um, again, these are my levels here. So right now I have it right here at 25. And that's what we got. All right, guys. Thanks.